Hi everybody, how's it going? This is Vandal, and uh, I just wanted to give you a little update on the channel. You know, it's it's very new. Um, uh, so basically, <clears throat> all right. So here, um, bottom line is No Man's Sky is not going to be on this channel. Um, I. You know, I posted a few videos of it. Um, actually, this channel was created for the express purpose of playing No Man's Sky. I was honestly incredibly excited. Um, and, you know, I didn't think I did, but obviously I fell for some of the hype of it. Um, basically, you know, I tried playing it, and uh, I even got the patch this weekend. Um and I, you know, installed it and went through the process and I started playing it a bit more off, off, uh, recording just to see, you know, how, how it worked. And honestly, I, you know, I, I know a lot of people are getting hate for, for saying bad things about No Man's Sky, but honestly, No Man's Sky is a game with no substance. I'm just going to say it. Um, it is a game that, you know, and they, you know, it's not like they, they lied about the content necessarily. They, from the beginning, said that uh, the game was going to be, you know, randomly procedurally generated. And and people filled in the blanks about what that meant. I did as well. Uh, so, but I, at the same time, I think we were all hoping that at least there would be something interesting to do. And there just isn't anything interesting to do in No Man's Sky. It is a grind. It is boring, honestly. You know, I, you, you saw in the videos that I posted, there were about three of them that I actually posted. I actually have footage for a couple more hours, but I'm not going to bother posting them because a lot of it was corrupted by performance issues and the stuff that isn't. You know, I I started to realize how limiting the game is. It's just basically resource gathering. And it's different because I love Minecraft. Minecraft is also just a game about gathering resources. The difference is that Minecraft allows for your creativity to come through. You build whatever you want, basically. You can, if you want to explore caves, you can. There's actually stuff you can find. You can find dungeons. You can find strongholds and and travel to, you know, the end, or you can go to um, the Nether. There is nothing. And granted, me, you know, I only played for maybe six hours, and by all accounts, the game gets exciting after 20. <laughs> I could not make it 20 hours, honestly. The thing is, there is nothing surprising after the first 15 minutes of playing the game. Once I left the first planet, and I went to another planet, and I realized everything is exactly the same. You have Heridium everywhere. Why is Heridium on every planet? Literally, every planet has Heridium. That makes no sense. And it's always in big blue pillars. And I highly doubt it's ever going to be explained in the game. And that's the kind of thing that has to be explained. You also have the fact that the Guardians are on every single planet. And you try to mine iron. Which is something that you require to build. And they come after you. It is something that just is a way... To extend your playtime. It is an artificial extension. And we bitch all the time. About games that add artificial padding to games. You know whether it be little mini games. That make no sense. And are difficult to do. So it takes you longer to beat the game. Or pointless crafting. That's all this game is. And I from the beginning was concerned even though I was really excited because I really Sean Murray comes off as such a likable guy in these interviews and I 
you know, I fell for trusting him. And I don't know if he was dishonest or not. I'm not going to say that. But I will say that what he said in these interviews turns out to not really come off as a fun game. But I went into it hoping that there would be something to add substance to the game. And there really isn't. The fact that after I got the hyperdrive, which I don't think is in any of the videos that I shared, I go to another system and, you know, it has the same nonsensical planet names. And you land. And, oh look, there's some more platinum. Oh look, there's some more thomium-9. Why? <laughs> Does every planet have literally every resource? Because if it didn't, you people would complain. And I understand that they are trying to make the game easier to play. But here's what really killed it for me. And, and I had actually, you know, it had been pretty done for me for a while, but today really cemented it. I watched uh, a review by John from Many a True Nerd, and I'm watching him play the game, and he has a lot of the same complaints that I do, and I'm watching him do exactly the same thing that I did, going from gathering resources to fix your ship to being told, oh, there's Heridium and you have to walk seven minutes. And so I do that and I, I'm pretty sure I even commented on it that, oh, there was Heridium right next to my ship. The exact same thing happened to him. And then he gets to the space station and the space station, despite looking different from the outside of what I came up upon, you know, because I had the pyramid-y one and he's got this spherical one, this base station is exactly the same. It is... There is no variety on the interiors of anything in this game. So they randomize all of the animals and all the plants and stuff. They can't randomize bits of the space station? It's also the fact that the space station is completely lifeless other than one guy sitting behind a desk. But I digress. So he leaves the space station. He gets the hyperdrive goes to the other thing, he is doing the exact same thing. And when they advertised this game, when Sean Murray went on and said, everybody is going to have a unique experience. Bullshit. Everybody's experience is exactly the same. And I understand having a tutorial. That's important. Absolutely. But I don't know when the tutorial stops because I'm not going to make it that far. Maybe after the tutorial thing, you have your hyperdrive and they tell you how to build everything. Maybe then you can go off and do whatever you want. But I doubt it because there's still that Atlas thing that basically the Atlas says, tells you where to go. You get the option, like at the beginning, do you follow Atlas or do you go on your own? I don't know what going on your own means. I don't know anybody who would go on their own because they don't know how to play the damn game. So yeah, that basically ended it for me, and uh, I made the decision uh, to not have No Man's Sky on my channel. I'm going to leave the videos, uh, the three that I put up there, just in case people want to watch it, they can get an idea. Um, you know, I was excited at first, you know, you can tell. Um, I think I gave it a bit too much, a bit too much credit in beginning. I let myself get a little too excited. I wasn't objective. Um, but after having some time, basically being able to not play it because of the PC performance issues gave me time to consider what the game actually ended up being. And I am fully aware that Hello Games is an indie developer, and that's fine. Uh, you know... Actually, John actually makes a really good made a really good point, and that that really just sealed it for me. No Man's Sky is an early access game, masquerading as a full price, sixty dollar release. I was reminded as soon as he said that, I was like, "That's exactly right." I've been playing Stranded Deep. I've been playing Stranded Deep 
uh, which is a really cool game. It's early access. There's really not much to do other than resource gathering and some basic base building. There's no story. There's nothing to do. Nowhere to go. But I wouldn't pay $60 for that. And that's basically... I would be willing to pay $20 for No Man's Sky. Uh, as, as nice as it looks, um, there's just too much that is limiting with it. Uh, from the flight controls that don't let you go below a certain level on a planet, to combat, which is simplistic and boring, to resource building, which is ridiculously time-consuming and frustrating with how limiting your inventory is. And yes, you can get upgrades. But it still doesn't make any sense why you can carry 100 heridium or however much, but you can only carry one Gragra per slot. Why? That doesn't make any sense. So, um, it's uh, all I really have to say on that. Um, if you uh, would like to leave comments on this, uh, that's fine. Go ahead. Um, that's a, that's all I have to say. <laughs> uh, I am going to be continuing Enderall. Uh, I think that's a really fun game. And uh, actually, I will be starting Deus Ex when it comes out next week. So you can also look forward to that. Uh, that's about all I got to say. So, have a good night.